tak tak share Jimmy. Hello, teacher. How are you, Jimmy? Fine. And you? Good. I'm doing okay. Thanks. How was your day? Um, on day, I, um, I feel, I feel very, very, very tired. Okay. Um, um, I'm very, very sleepy or of ring you feel sleepy before sleepy okay, okay. did um, you work because, today because because i have to work every day what time do you start working and uh, the monday the monday um what time um i hours. okay and eight you... or, or ten hours oh Okay, do you start early? Uh, no, no, I start, I, I start early um, at 8.30. 8.30. Okay. I am. And, and where do you work, Jimmy? Um, I am work at Bank of America. Oh, okay, yes, all right. Mm -hmm. What mm. branch? Uh, I am a, a business executive. Good. And where is your office? In San Salvador. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, good. Do you have any questions about our classes, Jimmy? Okay. Mm. One moment. Mm -hmm. This class, no. Um, the A previous the one? Last. My question is about fanboys. Okay. Mm -hmm. Fanboys. And fanboys uh, are the, the only coordination conjunctions. Uh, yes, uh, fanboys, uh, there are other conjunctions, but the ones here, the seven that we have here are the only ones that we use in those cases. Do you remember the meaning of every letter? No, no. F stands for for, and, nor, but, uh, yes. or, yet, and so. Yeah. Okay. It's a, it's a fanboy. Fanboys. 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 Okay. And and they are very important because people use them all the time. Uh, okay. Yep. Son las más comunes. Yes. They're 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 very popular. People use them a lot. Okay. Yep. Any the other questions? Only questions. Okay. Do you work tomorrow? Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You work every day. Every day, only, only uh, Sunday. Sunday is your day off. Yes, and Saturday or mitad de día, half half a day, half a day. Half, okay. Saturday, half a day. And where do you live, Jimmy? I live in San Marcos. San Marcos. Yes. And what part of San Salvador is your office? Um, how do you say centro? Downtown. Downtown, in downtown. Where Where in downtown is Promerica? Is it on Avenida España? No? I, yes, no. In Calle, 
Rubén Darío. Calle Rubén Darío. Calle Rubén Darío. And what is the other street? Do you know um, the name of on the, the on other the corner, street? On the, on the corner of the, the Park Bolivar. Okay. Parque Bolivar. How do you say, how do you say edificio? Edificio? Building. Building, uh, building the Fondo Social para la Vivienda. Oh, it's okay. Pure. Okay. All it's, right. It's, 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 it's adentro, ¿cómo se dice? Yeah, it's inside. It's inside. Right, the, right. The yes, I, yes, there is, there is, there is a bank. Right, right. Yes. Okay, yes. good. Okay, any other questions or comments, Jimmy? No, teacher, thank you. Okay, so thank you very much. I will see you tomorrow at eight o'clock. See you. All right, have good a good night. night. Precios de docena están pidiendo aquí. Christian, Hi, how are you? I'm fine, and you? Good, good. What's new? You no, know, no, uh, I am Nothing? Asleep. Okay. Do you have any questions or comments about the class, Christian? Well, physically, well, a veces sí me cuesta entender un poco y así va, pero trato la manera de guiarme por lo por los ejercicios del libro y cosas así, pero sí siento que sí me cuesta a veces entender un poco. Okay, ¿usted se evaluó antes de que lo pusieran en el en el intermedio uno, Christian? Este, sí es que yo empecé desde el inicio, desde el inicio cuando iba a dar clases y después que fue inglés así, este lo pasaron ahí, eh, online, entonces, y así, así he ido poco a poco. Oh, ok, ok. Sí, porque el, el, si usted siente de que el nivel está un poco uh, difícil, eh, podría hablar con administración, eh, porque yo, no, yo personalmente no puedo hacer ningún cambio, yo solamente soy el, 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 el facilitador. El, uh, por si en dado caso usted se anima a que, a que le hagan una reevaluación, pues puede, puede estar, está en todo su derecho. Okay. Pero si usted se siente bien y le gustan los retos, pues a, a, en mi clase es más que bienvenido. No, no, la verdad que, o sea, este, no, no, por mí no hay problema seguir y todo, o sea, igual cada vez que, que, de, que repite algunas, más de alguna palabra que repita se me queda. Ajá. Ajá, correcto. Como esos son, son monéis que alguien más, o sea, ya poco a poco, algo no lo sabía y que poco a poco voy aprendiendo palabras así pequeñas. Good. Y así, pero no, no siento que sea 
O sea, sí, o sea, me va a costar algo, pero para mí mejor, porque así yeah. aprendo más. Yeah. Ah. Good, very good. Sí, no, y, 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 y pues como les decía temprano, todo, todo esfuerzo pues tiene su recompensa, pues al final de cuentas el, el principal beneficiado son, es el estudiante claro. y cómo se llama, y, y estar echándole ahí ganas pues llega su día con su, con su recompensa. Sí, sí, no, y es que yo sí le entiendo, pero a veces como para las cosas, escuchar y, y, la pronun y yo pronunciarlo, me cuesta, o sea, eso sí me cuesta, pero ya leerlo y verlo sí le entiendo muchas cosas. Uh -huh. Pero quizás cuando lo escucho de otra persona me cuesta asimilar lo, lo, que, lo, que, lo que me está diciendo. Okay. A diferente de que lo esté leyendo, ¿verdad? Algo así. Ajá. Sí, sí. Sí, porque acuérdense que son, son cuatro skills. Está el hablar, el oír, el escribir y el leer. Sí. Y en ciertas áreas somos más fuertes que en otras. Hay gente claro. que lee y entiende. Hay uh -huh. otros que entienden. Eh, hay otros que se les hace fácil hablar, pero les cuesta entender lo que leen. O sea, everybody's different. Everybody's claro. a different case. Pero, but that is good, you know, that you want to be persistent in class. Claro. Yes. Okay. Okay. Any questions or any comments, uh, Christian? Mm. No. ¿Al, algún no. tema en particular que, que quisiera... Uh, eh, tocarlo aprovechando eh, su, sus 10 minutos ok este ¿Cómo, cómo practica usted how do you practice in your house pues fíjese que en realidad eh, escuchando música tal vez en inglés de vez en uh -huh. cuando ok eh, o, o pequeñas videos así en, en, en internet, ¿verdad? en YouTube. Sí. Pero okay. así es pues, poco el tiempo, la verdad, no, 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 así aparte casi no mucho le dedico. Sí. Es poco nada más. Ok. Ya, yeah, porque la, la, la práctica que se hace fuera de la clase, pues es, es, es muy importante. Por claro. muy poco que sea, porque por alguna razón no, no podemos dedicarle tanto tiempo, es, es productiva. So, Listening to music, watching television, or speaking with another person is also good. Mm, claro, claro. Yeah, yeah. Oh, how, aprenderme los verbos. Ajá. A veces sí leo algunos verbos que se me queden por lo menos. Ajá. ¿Cuánto, verdad? Ok. Good, very good. That's a good idea too. Yes. Yeah. Good. Bueno, pues lo, lo felicito que, que, que le está haciendo frente eh, y, y está, ¿cómo se llama? asistiendo a todas las clases y eso es un, un, un gran plus, es un gran paso que usted está tomando. Claro, no, claro que sí. No sé si la verdad si quiero aprender, pero poco a poco sé que yeah, lo voy a lograr. Yeah. Slowly but surely. Lento pero yes. seguro. Claro. Good, very good. Ok, so if you don't have any questions, I'll be seeing you tomorrow at 8 o'clock. Ok. All right. Have a good okay. night. See you later, teacher. All right, see you later. Bye bye.
Hello. Hi. Can I'm you hear me? You. Yes, yes. Good. How was your day, Jimena? It was fine. Good, good. Do you have any questions or comments related to the class? Mm, no, teacher. I feel comfortable with the, the class. I think okay. I understand everything. Good. And only I have a, a question. Yes, tell me. What, what can I do from speaking more fluency? Okay. I think I translate the word to Spanish from English. <laughs> okay. So, you know, uh, that is very common uh, when the person is being exposed to speak the language a lot. Mm -hmm. It's normal that the person first thinks in, in, in Spanish and then they try to produce in English. Mm -hmm. So it's normal, but it's not good. Mm -hmm. Why? Because English is one language, Spanish is completely different. Mm -hmm. So what I suggest, what I recommend mm -hmm. is that you need to start thinking in English mm -hmm. and try to be spontaneous when you talk. Mm -hmm. So, and that's why many of the activities that we bring to the classroom is for you guys to speak, speak, speak. Mm -hmm. So you guys break the ice. Mm -hmm. So personally, I, I think that you're doing a, a good job. You're doing a great job. So, mm -hmm. uh, but try not to think in Spanish. Try mm -hmm. to be spontaneous. Mm -hmm. and, and when you're being spontaneous and you're thinking in English and you're uh, speaking in English, mm -hmm. your fluency is going to be much, much better. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but don't feel bad because that is very normal. Mm -hmm. I used to think in Spanish when I was learning the language, when I, when I was in the learning process. So I would think in Spanish and then I will say it in, 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 in English. But mm -hmm. number one, like I said, it's two different languages. Number two, uh, when you think in Spanish and you want to speak in English, that uh, takes time from you. Because when you say, mm -hmm. ¿Cómo digo esto? ¿Cómo es que mm -hmm. se dice tal cosa? So you're wasting time. So my suggestion is think in English and be spontaneous, even if you make mistakes, because mistakes mm -hmm. are necessary. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and how do you practice English uh, outside the class, uh, Jimena? I, I don't practice the, the English. Okay. But I hear a music in English. Okay. And see a series and watch movies in English, uh -huh. but the subtitles always are in Spanish. Okay. But sometimes I understand what they are speaking. Okay. Now, when you activate subtitles in Spanish, it's good because you understand what they're saying, mm -hmm. but when you activate your subtitles in Spanish, you are reading. Uh -huh. uh, so it's better if you eliminate the subtitles or, or, or you can do something. You watch the movie with subtitles in Spanish, you enjoy the movie, whatever. Mm -hmm. Then when you finish watching the movie, documentary, whatever, try to eliminate the, the, the subtitles so you mm -hmm. practice your listening. Oh. Remember that your speaking depends on how much listening you get. Mm -hmm. So when I am speaking, when your friends are speaking, everybody should be paying attention mm -hmm. because you're you're checking how pronunciation takes place. Okay. Uh -huh. And another thing that yes? I I think is difficult to me uh -huh. is the the comprehension of paragraph paragraphs. Uh -huh. Yeah, paragraphs. Par uh -huh. Okay. So uh, in that case. Um, when you read something, uh, it's very possible that you will see words that you don't mm -hmm. recognize. Mm -hmm. So you finish reading and you ask mm -hmm. yourself how much you understood. Mm -hmm. When you see a word that you don't recognize, circle it, underline, fluorescent, mm -hmm. marker, whatever. Mm -hmm. And then after you finish reading, 
you can look for the definition of the words. Ah, okay. Yeah, so that mm -hmm. is uh, uh, something that people apply when they're trying to read and understand uh, books, magazines, information, mm -hmm. emails, uh, anything. So mm -hmm. read the information, mm -hmm. underline or circle the new vocabulary and ask yourself, mm -hmm. how much do I understand? Mm -hmm. and, and if the words that you don't recognize, do you think they are relevant? Mm -hmm. Then you look for the definition in English. In English, not right. Spanish. Now, when you translate the words, mm -hmm. that has to be your last option. Because ah. if I use the translator, I'm not challenging myself because mm -hmm. translating is very easy. Mm -hmm. So if you find a, a, a word, try to look for the meaning in English to see how much you understand. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. So those are things you can do to improve your reading comprehension, mm -hmm. your listening comprehension, your fluency, your accuracy, different things. Okay. Yep. Okay, teacher. And what time do you go to sleep, Jimena? At in this moment, at, at when we finish the class. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And usually, what time do you usually go to sleep? Usually, nine, 9 or 9.30. Okay. So, mm -hmm. on, a, on a Saturday and a Sunday, you go to sleep between 9 or 9.30? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Good. Do you have any other questions, Jimena? No, teacher. In this moment, no. Okay. So thank you very much for your time. I'll be seeing you tomorrow at eight o'clock. Okay, teacher. Have All a right. good night. You too. Thank you very thank much. Thank you. All right. Bye bye. Bye. See ya.
minutos me desconecto. Llevo otro rato. 